Database Share content Moodle's database activity allows you to build, display and search a bank of entries on a topic of your choice. These entries include files, images, links to websites, text and more. They may be moderated before approval, commented on and rated. Accessing it with the teacher role, we see three dots to the right for editing, deleting, approving and unapproving. Database activity entries can be displayed as a list and individually in single view. In this database activity, Beautiful Places, when the entries are displayed in a list, we see a name and image along with its location in the world. If we click to access single view, we can also see who added this entry and when. All of these options and more can be set up when adding a database activity. Our teacher adds a database activity by enabling edit mode top right, then clicking anywhere between activities or add an activity or resource. Database is an activity because learners interact with it. Click once to go straight to the activity or click the I icon for more information and then the add button bottom right. The name is important because learners click on it to access the database. You can optionally give it a description which can be displayed on the course page by ticking the box. Other settings can be expanded by clicking the links. Entries. Here it's important to decide whether or not to moderate entries before they appear. And note, if you set them to be moderated and never approve them, you can have a useful private sharing area between teachers and individual learners, such as with a journal. Should students be able to edit their entries and or comment on entries? Should there be a limit on entries students must add before they can view others? Should there also be a maximum number of entries students can add? Ratings. By default, editing and non-editing teachers can rate database entries, but if you want students to do this also, access permissions from the More link and then allow students the capability Mod Data Rate. Other settings are similar to other activities. In Activity Completion, to track that students have accessed the database, do we want them to manually click to confirm they have seen it, or do we want it automatically marked complete when they've simply viewed it, or obtained a grade or passing grade, or added a required number of entries? To alert course participants that a database activity has been added or updated, click Send Content Change Notification. After clicking Save and Display, we come to a Start page where we can choose either to create our database activity from nothing by creating new fields ourselves, or to import a preset, for example from MoodleNet, or to use one of Moodle's presets. If we click Use Preset, we can view and preview four presets, which will make it easier to create our database. If we want to use the preset, we click the button bottom right, Use this preset. But instead, we'll go back and click Create a field. Fields means the information boxes course participants must fill in, such as adding text, a file or an image. Here are the available fields. Short text is useful for names or titles of entries and ticking required will force the student to enter something here. With image we can specify the size of image for list view and single view. Usually list view would be smaller than single view. Finally, we'll add the coordinates field so students must enter the latitude and longitude of the location. Templates. Templates define how you want the fields displayed. Anything done to the single and lists templates here will determine how they look. The add template will determine what participants see when they click to add their entry and you can also set up an advanced search template. The simple way to set up your database easily is to click the save button for each template as we're doing with the add template now.
but you can edit templates also to improve the display. For example, by removing or adding items from the available tags on the left. Or, for instance, if you want the list view to display as a table, you'll need first to disable the code editor and then enter the code for the header and footer of your table. And if you're comfortable with code, you can also explore the CSS and other templates. Moodle's documentation will help. Now it's time for our student to add an entry, adding a name, uploading an image and entering a geographical location. Our teacher will approve it from the three dots so that it can be viewed by all. To summarise, the database activity allows you to build, display and search entries on a selected topic.